Hey everyone, back again with Miss Chloe, Cooking with Miss Chloe, episode 2, home edition. Today, um, as you can see, I'm also again wearing my seed necklace and my leaf earrings. So we are going to be again talking about seeds and cooking a little something with seeds. So we're going to start off with some oats. These are rolled oats. I got these at Trader Joe's. Um, not instant. Um, I'm going to use a half of cup of these. Okay, so I've got my quarter cup. I've got my spoon. I'm going to dip into, I'm actually going to start with the pumpkin seed butter. It's really cool. It's green. Might give my seed balls a funky color, but it's got a really yummy taste. Um, just like if you eat pepitas, this is what this is from. They just ground up those green pepitas and made it into some butter. Next up, I need some flax seeds. So I use this brand. I get this at Stop and Shop. If you don't have flax seeds, it's okay. Any other small seeds would work, really. Um, you could use sunflower seeds as well. All right, and then we need a quarter cup of the dried fruit of choice. I have cranberries that I need to put in here, and I also have some raisins. So I'm actually gonna throw the raisins in. I just think they're a little bit juicier. Break those up a little bit. And next up, we've got the best part, and this is something I actually forgot. But we need some honey or some sweetener of choice. So most of us might have honey on hand. I actually don't have that much honey, so I'm gonna use something different today. Um, I have a lot of molasses that I used at Christmas to make some cookies, and I think I'm gonna experiment, and I think I'm gonna use that. Here's my molasses. Again, this recipe is really good because right now, going to the store, a lot of things are gone, or it's hard to get to the store, so whatever you've got in your shelves, is going to have to work. <laughs> and lastly, if you'd like, you can add in some small seeds. Chia seeds, hemp seeds, or flax seeds, again, like what we talked about. I have some flax and I have some chia. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then I'm going to take another sprinkle. These are, you want about a tablespoon for this recipe. And now it looks like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir it all together. Really get that um, seed butter kind of mushed up with those oats. Okay, so I let my dough cool for a little while. I just took it out of the fridge. Last step. We get to roll these puppies. So I'm gonna take about a spoonful. I like to use my hands, you don't have to. And I'm just gonna roll it up. And this one is kind of big. You can make them whatever size you want, whatever shape you want. And then I'm gonna put it in the Tupperware to put in the refrigerator and eat them later because they're a great little breakfast snack. Our nuts and our legumes that we've put in here, our nuts and our seeds, are gonna act as our grow foods. They're gonna have lots of protein and they're gonna make us strong, they're gonna make us grow. Then we've got a little bit of fruit in here for my raisins, which are just dried grapes. And that's gonna be our glow food and add a lot of sweetness. And then we've got a go food to give us energy from the oats. So we're eating, these are a nice balanced go, grow, glow snack, getting all our nutrients getting lots of energy, they're super fast and easy, and they're super fun to make. All right, I'm gonna eat this little guy. Hmm. I've never had it with molasses, and I kinda like it. All right, have a great day, enjoy your seed snacks, and I'll see you next time on Cooking with Miss Chloe.